use a thermoelectric generator. This is a module that can be found to keep a computer chip cool or one of the coolers you would plug into your car to keep a six pack cool. Sandwiched in between two uh, aluminum heat sinks. Here I have a jewel thief. I have uh, two lengths of magnet wire spun together to create my inductor. Three LEDs in parallel. It's your basic jewel thief circuit. I have a bunch of LEDs wired in parallel, a container for cool water, and a heat source. This could be a candle or a can of Sterno, anything like that. Here I've taken the other set of LEDs and wired them in parallel with the Jewel Thief circuit. So all the LEDs are in parallel. I've lit the candle and I've filled the container with cool water. I put these blocks here just to keep the module up off of the flame enough so that the candle will stay lit. I'll place the module on top and the cool water on top of that. In this configuration the positive and negative leads are reversed. If I flip the unit over and uh, put the heat on the other side, it would run the right way. This module, uh, I've had it produce up to a maximum of 3 volts, uh, but that's like overdriving it. Uh, this is really, uh, you know, meant to, to pass electricity through it and keep one side cool and the other side hot, but they can be used in reverse like this. Uh, with the candle, it tends to run at about a volt, which is plenty for a jewel thief. You notice I hook it up and the lights don't come on. Uh, the temperature differential between the hot and cool side isn't quite great enough to uh, create the voltage needed yet. Here in a few moments, it'll uh, the, the hot side will get warm enough. Now you notice the lights are lit. And I believe this circuit takes a voltage of about 0.4 and it'll start to light the LEDs. As time goes on, the lights will get brighter as the temperature differential gets greater. It's the difference in temperature between the hot and the cold side that creates an electron flow, otherwise known as a voltage, uh, through uh, two, two dissimilar metals that are in the module itself. Here I've disconnected the other set of LEDs and just to show how you just take your two leads and, and hook your positive and negative to your Jewel Thief circuit and there you go. And you notice the lights are a considerable bit brighter now. This isn't a high temperature module. I believe it can handle temperatures up to around 250 degrees uh, before it starts getting damaged. Here you can see the voltage increase as uh, the bottom gets hotter. I disassembled everything, let it cool off, and uh, put it all back together so you can see how the voltage rises. I've seen some neat videos where guys have put these on their rocket stoves or their rocket mass heaters or their wood stoves and uh, it would run a small fan to circulate air in the room and the fan would actually keep the top of the heat sink cool and it would run itself like that you didn't need any water here uh, I'll show the the current draw on it just you'll see the voltage drop like I said before uh, once everything gets warmed up this one tends to run at about a volt and it'll hold out at a volt really nice Here I show, uh, I had it running the night before for about an hour on a little tea light there. And you notice that the LEDs are a lot brighter. Uh, the candle was maybe about three quarters of an inch closer to the bottom of the module. So it was able to get a little better temperature differential than uh, this candle here. Here I blow the candle out and uh, you can just sit and watch and see how the, uh, the lights will slowly dim out. 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any ideas, uh, shoot them my way, and we'll see what we can work out. Thank you.